good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today on the Autodesk Virtual Advanced Manufacturing Summit. I hope it's gonna be a really good use of your time. This is a great opportunity for us to help you to better understand how Autodesk sees the market and give you some insights into what we're doing to help you, our customers, enable your competitive differentiation. My name's Mike Malkin. I, uh, I look after the digital manufacturing sales group uh, globally for Autodesk, uh, and I'm gonna be presenting the advanced manufacturing make story. So before we begin, I want to share our standard safe harbor statement, um, as I will be making some forward looking statements during this presentation. So I'm gonna leave this here for a few seconds. I want to cover three main topics today. The manufacturing industry trends we are seeing at a macro level, Autodesk's ongoing commitment in our current manufacturing portfolio for subtractive, additive, simulation, and generative design, and how we're delivering the next generation manufacturing platform called Fusion 360, and why you should be paying attention to the great opportunity it offers you. So I hope that's going to make you think about some of your challenges and how we could potentially work together to help you find solutions. So if that's okay, let's dive in. So let's think for a moment about the current initiatives and pressures we're all facing in our day-to-day -day business and personal lives. On the negative side, here are some of the challenges. Increasing world population, climate change, carbon emissions, an aging workforce, increased global competition and disruptive business models. On the positive side, we have a lot of opportunities. Infinite cheap computing power, digitalization, new digitally native workforce coming out of education, new means of manufacturing and materials, automation, 5G, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So these threats and opportunities are impacting both you and your customers. The question is, how are you going to respond? These macro industry trends are impacting manufacturers like you in three areas. The nature of products, the things that you make, the technology available to help you make these things, and the nature of the work you and your people will be asked to do. So let's talk about the things you make, whether the products or buildings, they need to be better suited to developing the developing needs of your customers. They need to be more customized, more configurable, more connected, and ultimately can be more value, valuable to both customers and companies that make them. We're seeing the rise in product as a service and the internet of things being used as a way of collecting information that can be mined for insights to create more opportunity for better products and additional revenue streams. So this is an opportunity both for the customer and for the manufacturer. In the realm of making, new technologies are being introduced all the time. 3D printing, hybrid manufacturing, flexible and configurable factories, robotics and new advanced materials. And work is changing as the processes of design and making converge across industries and the industries are converging themselves. So think about construction. It's becoming more automated, more like manufacturing with prefabrication and modular building components. Teams and supply chains are increasingly connected. Digitally native workers expect a different experience and they demand access to the latest technology. How will you attract these people to work for you? New types of jobs are being created to support these changes from data analysts to chief innovation and chief digital officers. But none of these changes, I guess, are news for you. They're well documented in many publications and are a driver for Industry 4.0 digital factories and many other initiatives. At best, these changes will be felt in the disruption across supply chains. At worst, we'll see companies disappear. 50% of the Fortune 500 companies from 2000 have gone. Just think of what happened to companies like Nokia and Kodak, to name just two. The question the manufacturing community is asking is, what can I do to stay competitive in the face of all this disruption? At Autodesk, we ask ourselves, what can we do to help manufacturers like you stay ahead in these changing times and turn this into an opportunity? 
And more recently, of course, we've had to factor in the impact of coronavirus. Companies around the world are having to reimagine what the new normal means for them and their business. Many companies are having to think about effective remote working, managing teams, enabling collaboration and flexibility, whilst ensuring inclusion and accountability, becoming more agile, reconfiguring your strategy and your processes and empowering your people. Supply chain flexibility and resiliency, localizing your supply chains and ensuring you can get the goods you need to make your products. And digitalization, embracing new technology, increasing productivity and helping to accelerate innovation. All of these are key to ensuring business continuity and resilience, in addition to having to think about all the other macro trends I highlighted earlier. And Autodesk is not immune from any of this. The reality is we've had to look at our own business in the same way and address the disruption we are facing in the IT industry. New, more agile disruptors with no legacy business to consider are trying to lure our customers away. The rise of cloud-based solutions, software as a service models, subscription versus perpetual licensing models, and name user versus serial number licensing models. So often when I tell people that I work for Autodesk, they immediately say, oh yeah, we know them, the AutoCAD company. Well, yeah, that's true. But Autodesk is much, much more than that. We started disrupting and democratizing the market 38 years ago, when the PC created the opportunity to move CAD off the mainframe and onto the desktop. AutoCAD disrupted the design, drafting and engineering world and the CAD revolution began. 38 years later, even as a $50 billion market cap company, we are still disrupting the market and growing like a startup. We disrupted the AEC industry with building information modeling and Revit, and we are now the market leader in that space and have helped change things the way that buildings are designed and constructed for the better. We believe our solution to how things will be manufactured in the future will have the same disruptive, positive impact in manufacturing. So let's take a quick look at where Autodesk is today in manufacturing and where we're going. At Autodesk, we have a manufacturing center of excellence. We believe we have the broadest, most comprehensive, best-in-class manufacturing solutions available today. And our customers are benefiting from the investments we're making in the expertise of our people. Over 600 software developers, plus our expert technical and consulting teams and a growing specialized local advanced manufacturing partner network to help our customers adopt and get value from the software solutions. Ongoing development and integration and investment in all our solutions. And finally, our advanced manufacturing facilities around the world where you can come and work with us on your innovation and your products using Autodex technology to manufacture products. So over the past 15 years, we've invested over a billion dollars in world-class technologies in the advanced manufacturing space, covering additive, subtractive, simulation, and materials disciplines with companies like Moldflow, Delcam, and NetFab. This has brought a vast array of technology and expertise into Autodesk. So now we can provide our customers with a broad best-in-class portfolio across all advanced manufacturing processes and needs from design exploration, through optimization and simulation, additive and subtractive manufacturing to inspection and robotics, allowing our customers to plan, program and produce anything using an Autodesk solution. And we continue to invest across our existing advanced manufacturing portfolio. Here are some of the recent investment areas as we continue to provide high levels of functionality, stability, collaboration and productivity in our existing solutions. You will hear more about these developments on the, on the 2021 releases of PowerMill, NetFab and Moldflow in the presentations over the next couple of days. So that's where we are today. We talked about the threats and opportunities facing manufacturers. How do we at Autodesk provide you with not only the tools you need today, but also the tools you will need tomorrow and enable you to seamlessly adopt these tools as your business needs change? We want to help you connect your workflows, automate your processes, and network with your entire supply chain. To do this, our solution is a single platform with your data at the center that provides a seamless connection to manufacturing, automates repetitive workflows, empowers decision-making, adds intelligence based on engineering criteria, and networks everyone into the process. And it starts with creating a platform where design, engineering, and manufacturing can seamlessly coexist. 
With this platform, users will have access to all the technology they, they need, available on demand, anytime, anywhere, any platform. They have the ability to collaborate with all stakeholders from design through to manufacture and stay connected to suppliers and service providers throughout the development timeline. We call this Fusion 360 and it's a game changer. Fusion 360 connects design to manufacturing workflows on a single platform with a common user experience, allowing insights across the whole process. For example, this opens up possibilities for manufacturing-led design. Because designing apart from an additive process is very different from a part you would design for a subtractive process. And the insights from the manufacturing process help you design the right part to manufacture. Fusion 360 allows you to automate repetitive workflows and streamline design and manufacturing processes. It adds intelligence so you can make more informed decisions. It allows you to explore more options faster and when it comes to design and manufacturing processes is allowing you more time to innovate, which is where you want to spend your time to give you that competitive advantage that you need. Finally, Fusion 360 networks people, processes and applications to maximize your productivity, allowing users to collaborate in designs in real time across platforms. It connects with additional third party technology so you can gain insights into manufacturing costs with solutions like a priori and optimizing design to manufacturing processes with solutions like ANSYS. So let's take a moment to look at something else that's included in Fusion 360, generative design. In the context of not just design optimization, but design exploration. There's a lot of interest and excitement about the possibilities offered by generative design. For the past few years, you may have been reading and seeing headline statements from industry experts on generative design. Some of these statements highlight some of the amazing possibilities this combination of AI and infinite computing presents for manufacturers. And again, this could be your game changer. Autodesk are leading the industry in generative design technology, and we've been helping many marquee customers realize the potential it has to, to offer. Here's some examples. So these customers have seen great results, including faster time to market, increased product performance, cost reduction, lighter, stronger products, weight and material reduction. And one of the key requirements of generative design is the exploration of various manufacturing methods. Some people think generative design is only technology linked to an additive process. We've all seen these crazy looking uh, alien uh, 3D printed objects, but Autodesk also support the traditional manufacturing methods that are widely available already with the machinery you have now, the die casting, two and a half, three and five axis milling, two axis cutting, which means you can use a generative design with your existing equipment. And is it not just for additive manufacturing? And we're adding more manufacturing processes all the time. So bringing all these technologies together, together in a single unified collaborative environment removes the burden of seeing the data and different technologies separate from manufacturing and allows you to focus on the problem at hand and not the technology. We believe such an approach will solve the future challenges for manufacturers by making the most of the opportunity to harness all the new available technologies. It breaks the relentless linearity of process. It increases transparency of manufacturing earlier in the design process. It automates repetitive tasks. It connects data to and from machines with a single digital thread and provides a single connected instant on platform. Such an approach is critical to generating dramatic productivity improvements and spurring innovation. And Fusion 360 will continue to evolve. We update the platform every four to eight weeks, adding new features and making other improvements. We're also currently working to add access to additional manufacturing technologies influenced by our speciality tools, collaboration tools, and also eventually we're going to be connecting this to the shop floor. So what about you as a current customer? How will you be brought along this journey? Where will you continue to access the workflows in the current environment you're used to and gain access to the new platform as it grows? So how will the products you currently subscribe to look in the future as we continue to build out this platform? So we're going to continue our investment in our manufacturing technologies to keep our solutions best in class. We'll continue to add improvements that will address critical needs and user experiences. You'll get additional access to the Fusion 360 and the new expanded workflows and continued access to the environment that you're using now whilst providing you with the choice to access the new technology 
available in Fusion 360. All that will come with a guided experience to help you learn the feature, features and benefits of the next generation workflows. So the reality is you get the best of both worlds and a pathway to the future of manufacturing. So many thanks for allowing me the time to walk through this with you today. I hope it helped you understand the Autodesk Advanced Manufacturing Strategy, the macro trends and the drivers that are both threats and opportunities for your business, our commitment to the great tool set we have now, and how we're investing to provide you with the tools you will need for the future today. So many thanks for, for taking the time to, to attend this session. Please attend the upcoming sessions and think about how Autodesk could help you and your future of making things. Thank you and stay safe.